From the 3rd century before Christ, the Romans started planting the first vines in Champagne. Over the years, the clergy, who were in charge of producing wine, maintained the upkeep of the vineyards. In the middle of the 17th century, a white wine made from Pinot Noir in the Champagne region was served for the first time at the king's court. During the accession of Louis XIV on June 7, 1654, champagne officially became a sacred drink. It took some time for champagne to become the drink we know today. The grapes struggled to fully ripen in the northern climate. The fermentation process was cut short by winter temperatures and picked up again in the spring, with the trapped gas leading the bottles to explode. The French did everything possible to get rid of the bubbles, but on the other side of the channel, the British loved champagne's fizz. It took until the middle of the 19th century for champagne producers to find the right balance between sugar and carbon dioxide to generate the perfect amount of mousse, which was a big step towards the industrialization of the drink's production. Today, the region's 320 champagne houses produce nearly 300 million bottles a year, with demand worldwide, and the British are still the biggest foreign consumers.